Chad, an interesting uh, question from a commenter. Um, have I ever adjusted the curve and used uh, calipers to, you know, cut out say a one by three inch square and then a rectangle, and then measured it and adjusted the curve to get it to be accurate? Honestly, I haven't done a lot of cutting out of, you know, parts that were critical for that. You know, it's not like I'm cutting out brackets or um, you know, anything engine car related, those kind of things. Mostly it's been art. So for the art stuff, I just haven't really worried about it. But it made me wonder exactly how accurate is the settings that I have. So um, I'm going to draw a quick little drawing of uh, straight from the arc droid. Just do a one by three rectangle and put a couple holes in it and then we'll measure it and see what happens. So let's do that right now. So I'm pretty sure there's tons of drawings out there, at least several drawings out there, uh, or excuse me, videos out there showing people drawing stuff um, directly on the uh, arc droid itself, but I, even I've done it, but let's just do a quick little, I need a rectangle, and so you can either um, use the button on the stylus if you happen to have the stylus the torch is still on mine or you can just use this button so that drops it i was messing with this before um then i decided to show you how to draw it but so it's already three inches by one inch just because i like to do it i'm going to add a corner radius of let's say a quarter of an inch so that rounds the corners And that's good. I'm going to make it center cut. And pretty good. One by three. So if we measure this, is the hole going to be one by three? Or is the metal going to be one by three with center cut? I'm not sure. Um, or neither of them be one by three. Let's see. And then I'm going to move the torch to... A good central location here. Try to get it a half an inch, right? Because it's one inch. And that's close enough for what we're doing. So I'm going to add a circle. Push the button. Make the diameter 0.5. And good enough. I'm going to make that one center cut as well. Although, yeah, I'll just do that for now. Um, and let's move the torch again. Do a quarter inch one. Do another circle. Um, oops. Another circle. Make this one a quarter of an inch. Also do center cut on that one. All right, so that's what we're going to cut out. We can make believe whatever we want this is, but because I did center cut, the cutout piece will be usable. Um, I mean, if, if I was really trying to save that, I would probably wanted to cut on the outside of this line and the inside of the circle line, and that would be exactly one inch. But let's just see what happens um, with this guy. I'll save it and we'll run it and see what we get. All right, so this is just some scrap metal that I've had sitting around and I don't think I've ever even cut anything useful out of it. But um, I did some test cuts when I was troubleshooting other things and it looks like I cut some pumpkins out of there for testing, but um, we'll go ahead and make that zero and we'll try to cut that shape that we just drew out. So. Let me turn the compressor back on. Oh, it's, it is on. All right, and let's see what happens. So you can see my first mistake, I didn't change the cut order.
So you see my first mistake, I didn't change the cut order, so it cut the outside first and then the inside. Uh, I don't think it'll matter for what we're doing here, but I should have cut the inside then the outside so that it didn't move before I tried to cut those. If I was actually doing a bracket of some sort, that might have mattered. But in this case, we're just doing a little testing. And is that still hot? Not bad. So let's see how, what size it is. Still on the screen, yep. Cheap Amazon calipers, digital calipers. I got 15 16 So I suspect the hole is gonna be one inch. Yeah. 123, 128, so it's almost an inch. Let's see what the inside of the holes are. This should be half inch. 169, or 69, 128. I mean, it's not perfectly smooth in there, so. 67, 128. 17, 30 seconds. And a quarter inch hole. 37, 128. And what do we have here? One and one six, sixty fourths of an inch. So the hole is actually one inch. I'm going to do the same cut. I'm going to change the cut order. And then I'm going to cut cut as if I was trying to save the part so the part would be um, I'll cut from the out, outside cut or left cut and then uh, the circles will be cut from the inside let's see if that changes anything without changing any settings okay we're almost ready to go again I changed as you can see by the little yellow tails I changed it to cut um, a left cut on the outside cut so it'll be cutting from the outside and the circles from the inside so this would be as if we were trying to actually cut out that bracket for some reason and uh, I didn't change any of the other settings I did change the order so it's going to cut the inside first then the outside so put you back on the tripod and let's see what it does Oh, wait, stop. Best if I change the zero to a spot where there actually is metal and then go again. Okay, so I let the compressor stop running before I brought you back, but that's that new one cut out. I think it's gonna be the same. Well, let's see. Maybe I don't wanna think anything until I try it. Let's see. Width 125, 128s. Sixty-three, sixty-fourths. Let's see the whole one and five, one twenty-eighths. Sixty-three, sixty-fourths. Let's see this half-inch hole. Thirty-three, sixty-fourths. Oh, and the quarter inch hole. 1764. 35128s. That's pretty close. So what does that mean? 
Okay, so the kerf was set to 0 0.02. Everything's inches on my machine. And I adjusted it to 0 0.03, and I'm gonna cut the same, same exact drawing that I used for this cut, and let's see what happens. All right, so still hot, obviously. Let's see here. Got exactly one half. Let me uh, point zero three. so I can tell them apart if we do many of these. So exactly a half on the half inch hole. Seventeen sixty-four on the quarter inch hole. Eighteen would be exactly a quarter. That's what I get for not, I saw the right number and I stopped, but. So 65, 128 and a half inch. And then the part itself, 127, 128. Clean it up, it would probably get smaller. Pretty close to an inch. And the hole is one and five, 128. I'm gonna bump up the curve just a hair and try one more cut. Okay, so same drawing as the last two cuts, um, but I bumped the kerf up to 0 0.035, and let's run it again. One measurement I wasn't doing is the three inch side. That's actually, on the last cut, it was actually three inches exactly. So that's interesting. We're getting close. So let's see this new, new piece. Thin metal isn't so bad to touch pretty early. I used to have thick enough skin, stuff like that didn't bother me, but getting old. So I got exactly one half of an inch. Take these shades off. Which is cool. And 1764. So 1664s would be a quarter of an inch. So 164th off. No, it's a quarter inch. I squared it up on there and it says a quarter of an inch, so could be worse. Yeah. One inch. Three inches. Wow, nice. So from that, I'm gonna say that's a pretty good setting for the kerf on my machine anyway. Of course, those, uh, that would all change with the nozzle size. I mean, you might have to play with that, and maybe make a little chart for yourself. I think that's a, I think that's a .9 nozzle. Um, anyway, but I, this zero three five is pretty pretty much nuts on for. 
the current setting on my, my machine so uh, hopefully that helps somebody out might answer some questions but uh it's also kind of cool you can create things like this over and over and over just by hitting the run button again so that was kind of a short video um on the settings uh in this case, the setting in particular is the, the kerf I was looking at. I've played with it before, but like I said at the beginning, um, I've done a lot of art type projects where, you know, the exact size isn't quite so critical, but um, that doesn't, that's not a good enough excuse for not setting up your machine. So uh, anyway, a little bit of adjustment. It was running at 0 0.02 for the kerf, and I've now got it set for 0 0.035, and pretty much right on so I mean it's plasma cutting it's not laser it's not you know machining it so I'm happy with that and uh, again like I said that'll probably change as the you know your tips wear or if you change the size of the, no the, the nozzle on your torch but um, anyway hopefully that helps somebody